begin here and now using the power of your breath. Breathe fully and deeply in through the nose. Fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. And exhale slowly out through the nose, emptying out all that stagnant air. Allow the breath to descend back down to the bottom of your belly. See if you can extend your exhale a little longer than your inhale to really expel stagnant air. Inhale, breathing in light, prana, life force energy. Exhale, release all that no longer serves you. Inhale, light and light codes from 360 degrees, filling your heart center. See the light expand like a sphere outward into your whole body, into your aura. Envision that beautiful white light surrounding your entire body as a high vibrational sphere of protection. Anything positive or negative that would do you harm is not allowed to flow near. Begin to feel the energy within and around you slowing down. With each breath, going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Softening, softening, softening. Calling in any guides, angels, archangels, ancestors that have crossed into the light. They have done the work. Luminous ones, luminaries. Your future luminous self from 10,000 years in the future to be here now in this ever-evolving present now moment. God, Goddess, the Divine all be here and guide you, protect you, work with you and through you and hail you on your journey. To the winds of the south, great serpent, wrap your coils of light around us. Teach us to shed the past the way you shed your skin. To walk softly on the earth. Teach us the beauty way. To the winds of the west, Mother Jaguar, protect our medicine's face. Teach us the way of peace to live impeccably. Show us the way beyond death. To the winds of the north, hummingbird, grandmothers, grandfathers, ancient ones, come and warm your hands by our fires. Whisper to us in the wind. We honor you who have come before us and you who will come after us, our children's children. To the winds of the east, great eagle condor, come to us from the place of the rising sun Keep us under your wing. Show us the mountains we only dare to dream of. Teach us to fly wing to wing with great serpent and great spirit. Mother Earth, we've gathered for the healing of all your children. The stone people, the plant people, the four-legged, 
the two-legged, the creepy crawlers, the fin, the furred, and the winged ones, all our relations. Father, Son, Grandmother, Moon, to the star nations, Great Spirit, you who are known by a thousand names, and you who are the unnameable one, thank you for bringing us together. Begin to visualize yourself in a beautiful enchanted forest. There are many forests all around the world. Come to the forest that resonates with you. Notice the trees. As you continue your walk, we are calling on an animal guide to come and greet you and walk with you, protecting you on your journey. You may see panther, a wolf, a bear, a deer, a rabbit. They may even be winged animal guides like an owl, a raven. Notice who comes for you to walk with you on your journey. Deeper and deeper into the forest you go. You may notice fairy lights and fireflies blinking in and out like stars in the air. Gazing up, there are a blanket of stars overhead. Enjoying the beautiful, crisp air here in this enchanted forest. It's very serene here. Crickets in the distance. Maven here, owl. Soon a beautiful tree calls to you. It may be luminescent, glowing a little brighter. Stepping closer to this tree, the trunk is wide. Notice the branches spanning out, the leaves, if there are any on your tree. a portal, a doorway, an opening of some sort occurs now within the tree, granting you entrance to Middle Earth. Stepping inside the tree, you notice it seems much larger on the inside. There is a beautiful pathway leading you down, winding you down further, and further into Middle Earth, deeper and deeper. Your animal guide is with you along your journey. Just notice what you need to notice. You soon come to flowing rivers of enchanted fire or enchanted water. Which element is calling to you tonight? Come closer to the one that calls to you. Is it the fire flowing or the water that you need for cleansing and purification? 
purifier for transmutation, purification, and taking action. Water for releasing and cleansing in a purifying way all the emotions, releasing the grief, the sorrow, the deep emotion, letting it go through the beautiful enchanted water. Water asks us to feel our emotions, to release the sadness, to feel it as it rises, but not to wallow too long, to allow a natural flow of emotions is different for everyone. Soon you continue down the path further and further, deeper and deeper into Middle Earth. Deeper and deeper. You come to a beautiful crystal cavern where you are greeted by your tribe elder. Your tribe elder. Notice what they are wearing. Notice what color their skin is, their hair, their eyes. Notice if they are human or star being. Mine often shows up with a staff and a crystal on the tip. Yours may do the same or they may have another tool that they choose to use. Your tribe elder greets you happily. They have known you a long time. They know you better than you know yourself. Your tribe elder takes you outside of the crystal cavern. As you walk deeper into Middle Earth, you come to a place in front of the veil, not quite crossing the veil yet, although it is very, very thin. And here there is a crystal table for you to lay on. Notice what type of crystal. Notice the color. There's a soft pillow for you to rest. Your tribe elder stands at the top of the table to start. As you lay here on this crystal table, several elders of your soul tribe come all around the table now. You may recognize their soul signature. One of the elders places a see-through, very transparent, translucent sheet over your body, over your head. In a way of allowing you to still be able to see what is happening as you go through a living shamanic death rite. And first, your tribe elders share all the beautiful things that you have done in your life. They mention your essence, your beauty, 
all of your accomplishments, all of the accomplishments even you yourself wouldn't acknowledge, like being kind to someone, a stranger, a simple smile and a hug. Noting all of the things that you have done in this life, the ripple effect that you have spread, they share all that they know about you. Even pondering what it is they would say that it comes to you. They say more than what you could possibly acknowledge to a point where it might even be emotional to hear that you are a good person. You are worthy. You are worthy of light. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of giving and receiving love. Allow yourself to feel joy. And now they begin. With their rattle, counterclockwise over your root chakra, your grounding root chakra, they spin and spin and spin. Opening and releasing your root chakra. They make their way up to your sacral chakra, orange in color, designating your sensuality, sexuality, how you create and balance your divine feminine and masculine energy. Counterclockwise, they open up to your power center, solar plexus, counterclockwise opening your solar plexus, cleansing and clearing as they do. Up to your heart center, counterclockwise opening, opening, opening. Your love. How you love and give and receive. Up to the throat, your voice, your authentic truth, your blue throat chakra opening now. Your third eye, indigo in color for your psychic gift, intuition, vision, clarity, and understanding. And finally, your crown, counterclockwise opening, your connection to source, your umbilical cord to home. And as your chakras are open, they allow all of the other elders around you to release your luminous body. They begin to use their hands, calling forth your energy body out of the physical body that made its way down to Middle Earth. Lifting, lifting, and lifting until it is only your luminous body above that body so they can do their work, cleansing, clearing your chakras, your aura, your entire energetic system, clearing you out with more ease as you are outside of your physical body. As they continue to work, they invite you to go on a trip across the veil to meet who you have intended to meet, to connect with who you'd like to connect, to forgive who you'd like to forgive. So here and now you are able to travel across this veil like a little bit of a film that you step through very easy as it is so thin 
And as you step across this veil, your animal guide travels with you. And you make your way across the land of the other side. Those who you'd like to meet across this rainbow bridge are here. They always send their love to you now. Throughout your life, they have. They are not suffering. They are happy. Notice who comes to greet you. Take these moments to really connect with them, to express what you want to say, to hear whatever they would like to say. If it is forgiveness that you are wanting to give, allow yourself to share what you are forgiving so that you are both released from this. Forgiveness often hurts more us than the other person. Allow yourself to release. Take this time now and enjoy the connections you are making on the other side.
and loved ones are always here, always ready and able to talk. Often in dream time is when it is easier and your monkey mind is more quiet. But you can talk to them anytime you'd like and they will send you signs and synchronicities to let you know they're here. A butterfly or a song. Take this time to say goodbye to them for now, letting them go back to whatever it is they are doing on the other side, knowing one day we will see them again. They always share their love, they are happy. They no longer carry the baggage from the 3D life. They are free. And they want us to live the life to the best of our ability, as happy as we want to be. We are deserving of so much. Joy is your birthright. And as they send you on your way, they may give you a symbol, a word, something that will tell you when you know they are around. Now your animal guide leads you back closer to that veil as your ancestors, your loved ones step back, stepping further and further to the other side now. You step back through that veil, coming back into the luminous body that is being cleansed and purified by your tribe elders. They are doing their work healing you. The final step. They spin your luminous body around and around and around. Much like the shape of a Vogel, you are even upright, spinning within that diamond or Vogel shape. faster and faster so that all the psychic sludge, all the lower vibrations, all the damage 12 strand DNA releases once and for all. And soon that spinning slows down. And you are parallel to your body on the table. And slowly, the tribe elders lower their hands, lowering your luminous body back into the body on the crystal table. Feeling more refreshed, renewed. And as they begin to close all of your chakras in the opposite direction that they began, 
Stay closed clockwise. Beginning to ponder all of those things and experiences, what you would like to still do, what steps are next for you, what would you like to create as you are the creator of your reality. Closing the crown chakra to a neutral state, closing the third eye, the forehead. Throat chakra, heart, solar plexus, power center, down to your sacral, and finally your root. So that you are open, but not too open. As you sit up from the crystal table, the leader, the head of all of the elders, your tribe elder who greeted you in the crystal cave, stands before you. They lean in and press forehead to forehead for forehead to forehead transmission, transmitting a beautiful energy, ancient, futuristic, I am vibration. It's a sacred act. Feeling the reverence, the energy, the power, And as they step away, they open their hands now and invite you to open yours as they too have a gift for you. As they give you this gift, notice, sit with what they have, are offering you. A word, a symbol, a crystal, a flower, or simply some form of energy. Notice what that is and take time to sit with the energy of it and what it means to you. Now your tribe elder leads you back the way you came, walking through Middle Earth, going back to the crystal cave where you met. Your animal guide is still with you. Thanking your tribe elder, perhaps giving them a hug. You begin to walk back up through Middle Earth, the pathway that led you here, spiraling upward, higher and higher, passing through the enchanted waters, the enchanted fires, higher and higher. You make your way back to the enchanted tree 
and then you step outside of the enchanted tree with your animal guide, thanking the tree for its access to Middle Earth. You gaze at the stars above once again, breathing the cool night air, feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, knowing that in the days and weeks to come, transformations are ahead. And we release the great guardians, angels, archangels, and the Noah, we release you, element of earth. In the west, we release you, element of water. In the south, fire, we release you. In the east, element of air, we release you. And as all of your energies recede and step back, we ask that you continue the work in the background as much as possible for the highest and best good always. Knowing that peace always dwells within. Any and all energies that has been released, now we don't need to hold on to it anymore. Sending it down to Mother Earth, where Gaia can take the energy, transform and transmute it into pure light, sending it to where it needs to go around the planet for the highest and best good of all always. beginning to allow your awareness to come back more fully in this room, in your body, wiggling fingers and toes, coming back to this now moment. As you are ready, bending your knees, bringing them in towards your chest, giving them one last big hug. Slowly rolling over to the right side, resting here for just a moment. Rising all the way back up now, coming into easy seated pose, legs crossed, eyes closed, palms facing up on the knees. And let's take a nice inhale, arms out and up, palms together, bring them down to your heart. May the universe be filled with peace and joy, love and light. May you always know the peace that dwells within. Namaste.